dihe kwa mume ihe na dihe kwa mume ihe na dihe kwa mume kone me and i will announce to you today we are now fighting them back and we will continue to fight them back How we pick up arms to fight back. We are live and we are direct. <laughs> we are panicking. Zoo is panicking. Zoo is panicking. Every time we have banana munition, I tell you the truth. It doesn't. I don't care who you are. I don't care. Who I will be. I have not just. I will. I have become your last bus stop and said it from the beginning till now. I will be your end until Biafra come. Ichigo Muno, Baki, Baki, Emo, Munu, Nini, Te, Ana, Mesu, Nini, Te, Munu, Dano, Nini, Te, Arasu, until Biafra come. And what we want to make abundantly clear is that we are warning everybody who is a stakeholder in the zoo about our determination and our resolve to ensure that our land is defended. This is a resolution we have reached and it is cast in stone. Master Simon Epa stood for his own madam. When the Jezebel was busy doing her works and doing her underground work, Master Simon Eka was watching and he was looking at them, gathering his information. Gathering his own information. Even in their secret meetings that we are having, Master Simon Eka was aware. He played neutral. He was just in between them and be watching. After they go to their secret meetings and they began, everybody began to drag a position. Everybody wanted to position himself as the leader. The Jezebel wanted to present, present herself with her own secret agenda while the Ifanye Jofo is pursuing his own agenda to destroy the Biafra. Every assignment they were doing, Master Manika was watching. The reason why I love him, he doesn't fight a fight when it is not right. And that is why he never fight a fight and lose. He always engages in that fight at the right time. And once he gets in that fight, he would definitely, definitely come out as a winner. Every fight he has been involved in for the past one and a half year that Martin Lankan has been in, in, in detention. He has won all. And everybody has risen against him. They exist no more. They lose relevance. They, 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 they end up losing relevance completely. They disappear. Because he's fighting the right fight at the right time. Fighting the right fight at the right time. Everything I tell you is the truth and nothing but the truth. It's only when you are blind that you cannot be able to see the truth. You must not believe because I'm telling you. Everything I say, go and verify by yourself. We stand on the truth consistently on the truth. Not today you say the truth, tomorrow or you say something that resembles the truth. We don't, we don't believe in that. Say something that resembles it. Speak the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Speak the truth, and the truth shall set you free. That is the only thing that can set you free. And when you are speaking the truth, if you are a truthful person, speaking the truth, you don't need much energy to begin to guide yourself or begin to think of what to do or how to process it. No. When you are standing on the truth, you don't need all those troubles, all those worrying, all those. Uh, you don't need any. You don't need to struggle to do anything you want to do. Never. You don't need anything. You don't need to struggle when you are speaking the truth and standing on the truth. Everything will be going for himself accordingly as planned. Everything will just be falling in place on its own. As long as you are speaking the truth. As long as you are standing on the truth. As long as you are building on the right foundation. Everything will fall in place by itself. 
But when you are lying, you will always lead a thousand lies to cover up one lie. Anytime you tell a lie, you will need thousands of lies to cover the lie that you told. And that is why it is difficult for you to defeat a truthful person. Because somebody who is telling the truth, wake him up in the midnight, in the afternoon, any place you call, he will answer you and he will respond. He will answer you and he will respond. Go anywhere you call him, he will answer you and he will respond. And his response will always be amazing. Without doubt, without stammering. And that is why we are winning. Your blackmail will be an elevation for us. Every blackmail you present against the original IPOB, autopiloted by Chukwu Kukadiyama himself, original IPOB, under the spokesmanship of Mazi Simon Epa, original IPOB, under the leadership of Mazi Nande Kano, every blackmail you bring upon us, it's going to be an elevation for us because we are standing on the truth consistently. Consistency personified. And you can't change it. You can't. Keep trying. The more you try, the more you destroy yourself. So you better stop trying. You better stop trying. You better stop trying. For every one of you who is out there, and thinking that it's a business as usual, it can never ever be business as usual. Therefore, I have come to stay. Whatever weapon or whatever things you throw at Biafra, you will end up destroying yourself. Every blackmail you bring upon the agitators, the genuine Biafrans, every blackmail you bring upon us becomes an elevation. It, it brings us closer to this Biafra. Any blackmail you bring against the original IPOB, autopiloted by Chukwu Kukaria, any blackmail you bring against Mazin Nandekan, against Mazin Simon Epa, it will become an elevation. Today, I can boast and tell you that the autopiloted IPOB of, Chuk of Mazin Nandekan has won more souls, more than ever. You did your, your, your so-called uh, interview that you advertise. We help you to advertise the interview because we know you are going to destroy yourself. When you were posting about your uh, uh, your interview, we helped you to share it and we told people to come and watch. And that is why you have a huge number of response the day you were doing that interview. Because we knew that you were going to destroy yourself. You knew that after that interview that you would never, ever, ever remain the same again. And that was exactly what happened. Today, after watching that interview, you'll be sharing tears. If you had known, you wouldn't come out. After watching that interview, you'll be sharing tears and say, if I had known, I wouldn't have gone on that interview. But you brought yourself up, thinking that it was going to be against Biafran people. But I tell you, Biafran people, we know our left and right. We know the right thing to do at the right time. We know the truth and when we see it, and you cannot drag us into falsehood. You can't drag us into falsehood. The person we are following, we know him very well. Mazen Nandekan, who laid the strong foundation, we know him very well. We know what he can say and what he can do. It doesn't matter the message you bring. Say Mazen Nandekan told you, I thank Chikwo Kukabia. That's why when I see some people who say, why did Mazi Simon Epa wait for so long before he began to expose Ifan Yejofo? He didn't wait for so long. He didn't wait for so long. He did that right time. After all, for a very long time, Mazi Simon Epa have already told you. He has already told us that we will not take order from the zoo anymore. We will not. We will not take any order from the DSS. Any second-hand information, Mazi Nanekan said, Mazi Nanekan did not say, we won't take it anymore. We are going to act on our own. And we will be responsible for anything that we do. Nobody should call Mazin Nanikara to it. Nobody should blame Mazin Nanikara for our own action. Every single action that we took, we will be held responsible. We we'll take responsibility for our actions. Mazin Nanikara said that. Some of you have forgotten. He made that statement. Now you begin to see why he made that statement that he made. Because from the onset, he has always known that whenever you are hearing Mazin Nandekano say, Mazin Nandekano did not say, most of those words are not said by Mazin Nandekano. 
majority of the three information that come out said, well, I didn't come. That is why when they bring their talk, he only tell us that we can't take order from the DSS. And tell me, how can a normal person who have come to tell us that we are the emission margin that can, is bogged? They can't discuss any private issue there. And yet, yet, you will come and tell us that you're getting information on how to move IPOB forward from that DSS. The same DSS that their only assignment is to make sure they destroy IPOB. They make to make sure they destroy Biafra. That is their target. The most target they have, their desire is to make sure that the Biafra get destroyed. That is the agenda of the DSS. And yet, you think Mazen Nanekan can be in their midst, in their presence, and begin to give you advice on how Biafra can progress, or how Biafra can come, or how IPOB can be able to function. Are you not mad? Are you not mad? That same person you know that their agenda is to destroy IPOB. You think that they will be watching you in their own presence. Then you'll be discussing how Biafra and IPOB will grow. And you think that Mazen Nandekano is that foolish to begin to talk about such issue in their presence. Mazen Nandekano cannot disclose any sensitive information in the presence of the DSS. He will not. He can't disclose any sensitive information. So when you tell us that there are things you are supposed to say that are not saying, there are things you need to say and you don't need to... Everything that Mazen Nandekano tells you is what you need to say. But say it exactly the way you've been told. But because of your wickedness, because of your greed, because of your envy and jealousy, you will always twist it. When you bring the information, you twist it. After you must have fed Mazen Nandekano with wrong information, very wrong information, Yet, Mazen Nandekan with the gift you go come and give him, be able to filter those that are true and lie. And yet, you cannot be able to deliver those messages he has given you to deliver. You will not still deliver the messages he has given you to deliver. And all of a sudden, you think we can fold our hands and continue to watch you and just believe whatever you say. We won't. We won't. That's what the dragon said. We cannot take any order from the DSS. Long, long, long time ago, before now, that was when he built the barrier to make sure that the Biafra comes. That alone will show you that Master Simon never have known all this while. The Bible is way about the people. But he has been waiting for the right time. He has been waiting for the right time. If not for anything, he has to wait for him to secure a legitimate body that can be able to further the coming of Biafra. Continue to pursue the agenda of Biafra before he strikes. He cannot begin to fight them when something are not on being on the ground. Just like all those clowns we are doing. Just like those ones we are telling him to fight him, fight him. You will have, want to fight him and fight him already. The ESN has not been has not been secured properly. The ESN has not been secured. He still have access to some of the commanders. He still have access to so many things. He still have access to so many plans. Those things have not been secured. The most important things that Mazin Nani can put in place have not been secured. You cannot abandon those things and begin to fight a uh, 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 fight that doesn't make sense. You are only exposing them to more danger. And my son took his time until he was able to secure a genuine body that can pilot the affair of Biafran struggle. The Umuadas. Umuada was completely secured. Umuada was secured. When Umuada was secured, and the ESM was secured. The media is said, the media team was secured. It was filled out. And then and only then, it was right and time as we are moving into Biafra in 101 days. 101. In 101 days, going to Biafra, the remaining canker worms have been opened and exposed. And the exposition will continue. And I tell you, they will never ever remain the same. Don't try the Biafran people. It's very difficult to convince Biafran people. But once you convince Biafran people, they are good to go. They will fight for you at any given time. Even in their sleep, they will be fighting for you. You see what is happening today? The way Biafrans are fighting for Mazin Nandekan. Come sun, come rain. At the most difficult circumstances, they fight for Mazin Nandekan. and willing to die for him. That is what Biafran people do. Once you can prove yourself genuine, they will fight for you. You don't need to command them and control them. 
you don't need to demand the respect from them you earn it you don't demand respect from Biafra people. Earn it. You earn your respect from Biafra people. And when you earn your respect from Biafra people, you will, they will give it to you forever. When you earn your respect from Biafra people, you will keep it forever. They are ready to stand for you forever. Come sun, come rain, come. Earn it fine. They will be there. That is why you must earn your respect from Biafra people. You don't demand respect. If you think you can run the Biafra, people by command and control command them demand you're wasting your time you're wasting your time you're wasting your time for a long time they've been saying that Igbo don't have leader Igbo is that you don't cage people and put them into your pockets we are republicans and you must allow people to speak you must listen to people listen to people what they are saying you must pay attention to the plight of the people. Only then and then you can begin to make sense to them. Not by command and control. Not by command and control. And that was how Mazin Nandi can won the Biafra people's heart. Mazin Nandi can did not win Biafra people's heart through command and control. No. It was with a listening ear. When you hear command and control, Mazin Nandi can put that in place for a good reason. Mazin Nani can put that in place for a good reason. Not that it, that is the problem. That, not that that is the main thing in the struggle. It's not the main thing. He did it for a good reason. Because human beings always like to be checkmated. You have to checkmate them. If you don't checkmate them, they will always misbehave. Human beings need to be checkmated at all times. That's why it was in place there. Just like when you hear the issue of oath. Oath was also introduced in IPOB to checkmate human beings because of their evil heart. If you don't put in place the system that is going to checkmate human being with their doings, they will go gaga. That is why those things are put in place. It's not that that's the, the, the ultimate. Today, what are you saying? The people who swore an oath today, they are the betrayers. The people who claim to have sworn an oath 1,001 million times, they are the greatest betrayers you have today. They are the people that sold Mazen Nanekana out and still selling him and making sure that he's not released. So, are you now still frightened by oath? No one born is frightened. They, they can't even have the boldness today to ask you if you take an oath or not. And those are how the dragon have dismantled all their evil. Dismantled all their evil. The dragon entered, but someone ever entered and dismantled all the evil ways. Initially, when you come, first of all, when you are talking about the issue of Biafra, they will, even when you are speaking genuine things, giving genuine information and bringing a real facts, you will see people attacking you. You will see somebody walking towards the, the actualization of Biafra. You will attack that person simply because he's not a member of IPOB. They will just at first ask you, are you a member of IPOB? Even when you are making sense, the only way they will run away from your argument, the next thing they will ask you, are you a member of IPOB? That is the first attack. If you say you're a member of IPO, they will not ask you, are you an oath member? If you say you're an oath member, they will not begin to ask you who administered the oath to you. Is it through paper or aura? Mad people everywhere, just to confuse themselves. But today, in the state that we are today, every Biafran is IPOB. Autopiloted by Chukwoku Kadiyama under the spokesmanship of Mazen Samaneva and on the leadership of Mazen Nandekam. Every Biafran, everybody from the old southeastern region and lower Benue, we are all Biafran people. We are all IPOB. Autopiloted. Today, you don't see such silly question. You go to a program, they first ask you, are you a member of IPOB? That's for me. Absolute nonsense. Even when you're making sense, they wouldn't be concerned about what you're saying. They just ask you, are you a member of IPOB? The next thing, are you an old member? Rubbish. And Mas Chukwokama used Mas Samanepa to trash that evil, evil move. That was how they were able to drive away people who came to make sense in the struggle. People who came to make meaningful contribution in the struggle. That was how they drove them away. With unnecessary accusations, blackmail, propaganda, attack. But Mas Samanepa came and he told you, I will be your end. When he said it, they thought it was, he was joking. Some of them thought he was joking when he said it. 
I will be your end. They thought it to reject. Today, hasn't he been your end? Has Mazi Simon Ebka not been your end today? Of course, he has become your end. And he will continue to be. Mazi Simon Ebka has become their end and will continue to be. It doesn't matter any place you are coming from, any angle you are coming from. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. It doesn't matter which title you give yourself. Your end has come. The only thing that can make you relevant is for you to stand in the truth. Stand in the truth. If you stand in the truth, you don't need to bother yourself. You don't need to exhaust your energy. Chukwokukabiyama is in charge. If you are speaking the truth, you will be autopiloted and the world will be in you. What you will say, what you will respond, your answers will be in you. That is why Master Simon F. is, is making, a, making a wave. Every black male against him is a promotion. Go online, you see black male. Different, today, they have, when I saw the one, the tweet I saw that somebody posted, I think it's Koiki, Koiki that re re revealed that tweet. Where they went and used the name of our, the wife of our spring in Amazon Nandika. They used the name of his wife, begin to tweet and talk all manner of trash against him and Amazon Nandika. And after talking, they use the Photoshop, the, the, the tweet of, of uh, Amazon Samanepa. And they tagged it to Amazon Samanepa. It was Amazon Samanepa that tweeted it. Amazon Samanepa have a verified tweet account. A verified Twitter account. Go there and verify and see what is that. A verified Twitter account. But yet you see people pushing propaganda with them. That's why I urge everybody, if you are a member of IPOB, if you're an indigenous person, you are a Biafran, you have to follow Master Simon Epa on his Twitter handle. Simon Epa on Twitter. Go and follow him. Follow him so that you can see whenever he tweets. And know when you see a tweet, they say Simon Epa tweeted, you go and check if you will find it in his verified handle. Go and find out. Don't just believe any trash you see on the Facebook. Don't just believe any trash you see anywhere. Don't just believe it. Make verification. I tell you, more black men are going to come. But every one of them is going to fall like when you pour water on the rock. It will just flow down. It will just fall off. It doesn't matter the pro propaganda they bring their black men. They can never, ever be a match to the dragon. They are gone and gone forever. And they will never rise again. They are gone and gone forever. Every single one of them that is standing there as a stumbling block to the freedom of the Biafran people will definitely, definitely be destroyed. They will be destroyed. They will be destroyed. Blackmail cannot help you. Propaganda cannot help you. Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of Godi plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand on the way of freedom. So, you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to, make, to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold all of Africa down. <laughs> hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals, they are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am a Namde Kano. I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man, not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor. Have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you are not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. <laughs> to take everywhere. We must continue.
Thank you.